Welcome back. I want to start today by talking to you about population growth and certain factors that impact or influence population growth. Now you're going to see I'm starting off here with this um, basic website called breathingearth.net and what I'd like you to take uh, pay careful attention to is all these little flashes that happen on the screen. Notice little stars are one birth and little uh, black circles are one death. If we take a country like the United States and we highlight over it, down here in the left hand corner, I want you to watch this space, you can see that they have a population of about 315 million people, that one person dies every 12 seconds and one person is born every 7 seconds. For a lot of countries you can see if they have a population that people are born faster than they die, you can see that up arrow it means the population is increasing. If we go over to a country like Germany, where the population uh, people die faster than they're born, you can see that there's a population decrease. The other thing I want you to look at, and we're going to come back to this at the end, is if we look over here in the right hand corner, you can see that the world population has grown beyond 7 billion people. This happened uh, in 2012, and that we've been watching for about one minute now. And since that one minute you've been watching, about 275 people have been born. We're going to come back to this at the end of the slideshow and see how big that number has gotten. So one of the so one of the things you're going to try out today is to find out the population percentage increase of certain countries and the doubling time of that country. So what does that mean? Percentage increase is how quickly the country is increasing, what, at what percentage, and the doubling time is the number of years it's going to take for a country to double its population. So for example, if a country had uh, 1,000 people in it, how many years would it take to reach 2,000 people? That's something we're going to be able to figure out today. A few basic terms you need to know are crude birth rate, uh, that's the number of births per thousand women per year in that country and crude death rate is the number of deaths per thousand people in that country per year. Doubling time is the number of years it will take for the population to double. So first I want to take a look at a few countries down here. I've got all this list of countries and what I would like you to do is first try to classify them as an MEDC or an LEDC. Now we'll do one practice problem with an LEDC. One easy way to start to figure out which are MEDCs and LEDCs is that we can look at birth rate and death rate. If you have smaller birth rates and bigger death rates or the numbers are really close to each other where the birth rate is just slightly uh, above or below the death rate, that's usually an MEDC like the birth rate is significantly bigger than the death rate. These, t these countries are usually LEDCs. So we're going to start by using Mexico as a quick example. And we're going to fill in the country name. Let's put Mexico here. Now we said its birth rate was 24 uh, kids born per thousand women per year and its death rate was 4. Now this is pretty simple math. Um, percent rate of increase is simply taking my crude birth rate minus my death rate and we're going to divide that by 10 and that is going to equal my percentage rate of increase. So we basically have 20 divided by 10 which equals 2 which is equal to my rate of increase and that's going to be a percentage. Doubling time, also pretty easy. Basically what you do, doubling time, you take 70 divided by the percent, which in this case is 2, and that's going to equal 35 years. So for example, if we go back to uh, this chart here, Mexico, you can see, has a population of 118 million people. So let's make it simple and say like 120 million. And if they have uh, 100 and 20 million people in Mexico, it's going to take 35 years for that country to have 240 million people. Now you might ask yourself, okay, well, where does this 70 come from? Um, a lot of you might have some business experience or some background in uh, some simple math, especially something like compounding interest and exponential growth. Uh, to give a real simple example here, let's say we have a uh, country and it has a population 
of 100 people and we want to know how long it will take to get to 200 people. Well, the simple math of uh, some logs of exponential growth are going to show us that it takes approximately 70 years or so if this grows at 1%. So here we go. So if this is 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40, 50, 60, and 70. And we've got our years down here. If we start at uh, 100 people and we're going to grow this country, we want to see how long it will take to double. It's going to grow pretty slowly and then it will get up to 200 at about year 70. That's if it's got 1% growth. What we said with Mexico is if it has 2% growth, it's going to double in about 35 years. So you notice that steepness of that curve is a little bit steeper and happens a little bit quicker. And if we increase that again to 3% uh, growth, this is going to take about 23 years to double its population. So that's 3%. And you might still ask yourself, okay, well, why do we have this rule of 70? If you look that up, they explain that 70 is the natural log uh, for this exponential growth curve. But what exactly does that mean? If our population is 100 people and we take 2% of 100, we're going to get 2 which means after one year we have 102 people. If we take 2% of that number, we get again uh, 2, but now we get 2.04. So this is where the compounding part comes in. We start to get this little bit extra every time. So in the next year we have 104 people, uh, which seems like we're just adding 2 every year, but we're not quite adding 2, we're adding just a little bit more than 2. And if we do 2% of that again, we get 2.08. So we now have a slightly bigger amount. Now if we keep doing this year after year after year, by the time we get to 150 people, this is you know roughly 22 or 23 years later at 2% growth. If we multiply 150 by 2%, we get three extra people. So now we're not growing by that uh, same amount anymore, we're growing by more than two people. And you can see that after about 35 years, at 2% growth, we would get up to 200 people in this population. So um, this is pretty important. Like I said, let's go back and check out our uh, overall time here. So we've been watching now, we're recording for about eight minutes or so. And just in the last eight minutes, the world has added 2,000 people and less than 1,000 people have died. So as you can guess, if we're adding more people than people are dying, the country or the population of the world is growing. You can see we're over 7 billion. Now the question is, can the world sustain 7 billion people or is there a point where we're going to reach a limit due to things like resources? You can also see this chart is indicating things like pollution and carbon and everything like that. So uh, if you want to check this out, it's breathingearth.net, and it's just kind of an interesting um, statistical representation of what's happening to the world population. You can also find countries like the U.S. that are growing, countries like Italy that are shrinking in population, and it's a pretty telling factor of the overall trend of where the world's going. I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for tuning in.